In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your MCU ID and enter it into your printer's configuration file when setting up a new 3D printer with Clipper. This series is sponsored by PCBWay. This video is part of a series, and I'm going to assume that you've seen the previous videos in the series, or at least that you know how to SSH into your Clipper device and how to access and edit your printer's configuration file. If you don't know how to do any of those things, then watch some of the earlier videos in the series to see how it's done. The MCU ID, as far as Clipper's concerned, is going to be the port that your Clipper device uses to talk to your 3D printer. Before we find this information and then use it, decide how you're going to mount or place your Clipper device and then which USB or other port you're going to use to communicate with your 3D printer. This is going to be the port you use from now on. You can't change it without going through this process again. Once you're happy with where you're going to mount everything, turn on your Raspberry Pi and your 3D printer. With everything turned on, we're now going to SSH back into the Raspberry Pi one last time to get a little bit of information. If you don't know how to SSH into your Clipper device or how to log in and use Kaya, then go back and specifically watch video two from this series. That's where I show you how to do this. So again, back to Putty. Pi Raspberry. We're going to open Kaya again. and then go back into advanced, option four, and number five is get MCU ID. All you have to do then is tell Kaya which connection method you're using. I'm using just simply USB, which is option one. What it now does is it looks to see what port it has the printer connected on. Now, PCBWay are kindly sponsoring this series and making these videos possible. If you didn't know, you could probably guess that PCBWay can manufacture printed circuit boards, but they also have engineers and technicians standing by to look after all of your PCB assembly needs too. PCBWay specialise in low volume production and prototyping, and that goes for their PCB assembly department too. PCBWay can also program and test your projects so you can receive your PCBs ready to use. So why not try out PCBWay on your next project? So, we just found our MCU ID, but what do we do with it now? Now for me, my port is dev serial by ID USB 1A86 underscore USB underscore serial dash IF00 dash port zero. You don't need to understand any of that. All you have to do is copy it all. Now with this SSH window to copy, all you have to do is left click and highlight all of the text, it's automatically saved to the clipboard. Then, reconnect to mainsail and open your printer.cfg file. Scroll down until you find the section for MCU. Now, by default, that line is different. Paste using Control V that code that you just copied. Now when you're done, click save and restart. And if we go back to the dashboard, we're connected. Now, when you restart after entering your MCU ID, you may see some errors. This is quite normal, so don't worry. Instead, click up here to see how to interpret and fix some of the errors you might come across at this stage. Or if you don't have any errors, click down here to go to the next video in the series where I show you how to check everything's working properly before you start printing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.